What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be giving you a walkthrough of all the new features in iOS 6. So let's go ahead and jump right into this walkthrough of iOS 6. I'm going to be showing you most of the main features. I can't cover everything because there's over 200 features uh, and this is the first developer beta that I'm using right now. Uh, so I'm sure as more updates come out, more fixes and features will be added. Uh, but as of right now, this is what we have. Uh, and you do have to have a paid developer account to get this as of right now. For everyone else, it'll be available uh, this fall. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Uh, first up is Siri on the new iPad and only the new iPad, not the second generation or not the first generation. And here Here's how you use it. Hello Siri, how are you today? Excellent. So as you see, that's what Siri looks like. You just hold the home button in for one to two seconds uh, and it loads up no matter where you are. Uh, it looks really nice and I like that it doesn't fill up the whole screen. It's just over here uh, on the side. Now they've also added some new features to make Siri even smarter. Launch notes. As you see, it opens the Notes app. So Siri now has the ability to launch notes. Let me show you what else it can do. Post a tweet. Okie dokie. What's the message? I am doing a video on Siri on the new iPad. I updated your tweet. Ready to send it? Cancel. Okay. I won't send it. So there you go. You can post a tweet now and you can also uh, do the same with a Facebook post. You can update Facebook uh, using Siri. Siri can also now do some cool stuff with movies, restaurants, and sports. Let me go ahead and show you that. What was the score of the last Laker game? The Lakers were subdued by the Thunder on May 21st, 2012. The final score was 106 to 90. The Lakers are out of the playoffs. She had to throw in that the Lakers are out of the playoffs. Uh, but yeah, as you see, you can see the scores and everything like that. You can also ask it more questions. Uh, you can even do something like this. Who is taller, Kobe or LeBron? I'm pretty sure LeBron James is slightly taller. What movies are showing at Regal? Okay, I found seven movies at the Regal. So you can actually see uh, what movies are showing. You get ratings from Rotten Tomatoes. You can tap on each one of these uh, and see more info about it. Uh, you can even tap right here to play the trailer of it. You can even do restaurants. Siri, make a reservation for Olive Garden. Do Olive Garden have reservations? Make a reservation for 7 p.m. Checking for restaurants named Garden. <laughs> Anyways, you get it. You can make reservations. You can do all kinds of stuff. You can read reviews from Yelp and on everything with restaurants. Siri has just gotten a lot smarter and uh, has a lot more features, uh, which what it should have been in the first place. One of the biggest features in iOS 6 is the new maps that Apple designed. They're not using Google Maps anymore, uh, and these are pretty nice. But from what I've used, uh, very, very slow. But again, this is a beta. Uh, so I've got LA, California search right here. That's Los Angeles. Uh, they now have 3D maps. So I thought this would be a good place to actually show you. So I'm going to tap the 3D button and as you see there is Los Angeles in 3D. You can do like a flyover of the city. Uh, it does take a little bit to load up when you're doing it in 3D but once you actually zoom in uh, and it does load up it actually looks uh, really really nice. So give it here uh, just a second and I'll show you uh, exactly what it does. Alright so it's loading up the city uh, so you can see I can browse around uh, and just take a look uh, at LA in 3D. Now obviously they don't have everywhere like this yet. Uh, it's really just uh, major cities uh, and stuff like that. You can also like spin it around uh, so you can see uh, just pretty much you take your fingers and one uh, go down and one go up and it'll actually spin so you can get different views of it. Uh, so it is really nice 3D and it does look really good. There's now also turn by turn directions uh, which is really nice. These are supposed to speak out loud to you and tell you where you're supposed to be turning uh, but maybe it's just because I'm not in my car uh, but so far these haven't done that for me. It may just uh, be coming in a future uh, uh, beta update. I will go ahead and show you what it looks like so I'll go ahead and hit start. I'm coming from LA to San Francisco. Uh, this is what it looks like. You can actually uh, do the 3D on here. 
and it'll give you like a 3D view of exactly where you're at so you can actually uh, make out better where you are and make sure you're making the right turns. Uh, you pretty much just scroll to the uh, left or right uh, when you want to make your turns. I'm guessing right here it's supposed to be reading it out to me but it's not uh, but maybe again I have to actually be on the road uh, driving for it to start reading out stuff to me. Uh, but yeah, turn by turn directions, it's finally nice to have that uh, on the iPhone and iPad. My favorite feature with the new Maps app, which I actually haven't got to use and test out yet, is the traffic feature, which you can turn on uh, and off in settings. Uh, basically what this does or how this works is it actually takes all of the iOS devices coordinates and what they're doing at the current moment, sends it to a server and puts it on their map. So you can actually have real time traffic. Uh, it'll give you uh, if there's slowdowns, if there's construction, or uh, it'll basically just give you all the traffic info you need uh, so you can actually see on your maps uh, and it'll actually give you real time uh, uh, route changes so if you're on a, a you're on a route uh, you're headed somewhere uh, and there's a better route to take it will actually uh, give you uh, the better directions and ask you if you want to take them so uh, the traffic feature that's uh, just amazing and I can't wait to actually try this out in my car but as of right now I don't have an opinion on it but either way that's just awesome that they're doing it like that next up is Facebook integration and it works the same way that Twitter does if you've used that uh, you pretty much just go into your settings and you log into Facebook here and it connects it through all of your apps so you can use Facebook across your iPad uh, no matter where you are without having to log in all the time. Uh, so you can also download the Facebook app still uh, but now this gives you options to uh, say if you're in photos you can tap the share button uh, now you can also share it on Facebook so let's go ahead and tap that uh, and it'll actually add it there and you can go ahead and type it up in a little uh, notification thing pops up or a little box pops up so you can go ahead and type in uh, whatever you want to post to Facebook. Uh, also they added a thing to the notification center so you can just tap to post or tap to tweet uh, so I can tap right there and post a quick little Facebook status if I want to. Another one of the cool things with Facebook integration is you can actually add your Facebook friends uh, to your contacts with connecting it and you can also turn that uh, on and off uh, if you choose. In iOS 6 you now have the option to make a shared photo stream which you select every picture that goes into it. I uh, just go ahead and tap the share button, uh, select all the pictures you want, uh, tap the share button right there again and then hit photo stream it'll actually give you the option to make a new photo stream and then you can even uh, select the contacts that you want to send it to uh, right there or turn on uh, the ability to access it from the iCloud website. One of the apps that Apple announced and is now on iOS 6 is Passbook uh, but you can't do anything with it uh, right now but it does tell you what you can expect in it. Uh, you can add your boarding passes, your tickets, your store cards which is like gift cards uh, as well as coupons. So basically this is going to be the one uh, app where you have everything uh, such as that so you just actually will get a barcode on here uh, that you just hold up and then they'll be able to scan it uh, so you don't have to carry around all your gift cards and boarding passes and all that and it gives you all the times and uh, everything you need with boarding passes so uh, that's a really cool app but unfortunately I can't show you anything because it doesn't do anything at the current uh, moment. So there's a couple new features in the mail app one of them is VIP uh, so you can set up all of your contacts that you want all of their emails to go into this folder uh, that way you don't miss any of them. You can also now when uh, writing an email uh, you can actually uh, attach photos uh, just by tapping and holding down uh, and it will give you an option to insert a photo or video and you can select uh, right there uh, from your photo stream. That's a long, long, long awaited feature uh, in the mail app. But yeah, that makes uh, mail just a little bit better. Now in iOS 6, they've added the ability to FaceTime over 3G. So I've got my iPad right here. I'm just going to tap and I'm going to FaceTime uh, my phone. Now as you see, my phone is on actually well, AT&T 4G. Uh, as you see, Time also would like to FaceTime. I'm, I'm not connected to any Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Accept. We'll test this out. I am on my my iPad uh, is on Wi-Fi, but we'll see. Oh, echo, echo, echo. So as you see, it works uh, depending on your connection. Obviously, it's going to be faster or slower. But as you see, Facebook is now available over 3G slash 4G lying AT&T. If you're on the iPhone, they've also done some nice updates to the phone app aside from uh, having a new look. Uh, they also have some new features. So I'm going to go ahead and call uh, my iPhone right now from my Lumia and uh, we'll see exactly what it does. So as you see, there's my Lumia 900 calling. Uh, now you have a little phone button over here to the right of answer. So you can just swipe up and you can uh, actually select to reply with iMessage or remind me later. I'll go ahead and show you a remind me later. So I can set it to remind me in one hour or when I leave. Uh, you can also have options I think here to do uh, when you get home uh, or different things like that. I'll go ahead and hit cancel. Uh, and then I'll call back again uh, and I'll show you uh, what the reply with a message uh, looks like. 
so I'm calling in now. Uh, so basically what a reply with message will do uh, is you can actually send that person a message. So if you're busy or you're on, in another call or anything like that, you can just reply really quick with them. Uh, so I'll go ahead and hit reply with message. So you can set it, uh, you can have it say, I'll call you later, I'm on my way, what's up? Or you can have a custom message. And you can actually go ahead and type it out and it'll open it up uh, so you can send them a direct text message right there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, some nice new updates to the phone app. Safari's got a couple new features that make it really nice. Uh, the share button looks a little bit different now. You got share to mail, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, you can add it to home screen. It actually shows you what the icon is going to look like. You've got print, copy, uh, bookmarks, and add to reading list. Uh, there's another feature actually add to reading list. You can now view uh, offline, so it actually saves a version of the website. So that way, if you're not connected, you can still read it. Uh, they now have iCloud tabs, which is really really awesome. Uh, if you're browsing on your Mac using the new Safari, or if you're browsing on your iPhone or iPad, it'll actually sync up uh, and have all the tabs open up, so you can access them really quickly. So this is actually a tab that I have open uh, on my iPhone. I can just go ahead and tap it right there and I just tap the iCloud button to see all of those and those are uh, really, really cool. So if I was browsing on my iPad and I went to my computer, I could still see the same thing uh, that I was looking at. They're also adding the ability to upload photos from Safari to websites like Craigslist and eBay. And if you're on the iPhone version and you go into landscape mode, uh, you also now have a button to go into full screen. So you can have full screen uh, browsing uh, on the iPhone. It's not on the iPad. I guess they didn't do that just because it it's already the bigger screen uh, anyways, but that's only uh, in landscape. So overall, iOS 6 has not really blown me away. It's not the big redesign as all of us were hoping for, but it is really nice, and they did redesign a lot of stuff. Uh, like I showed you before, the phone app looks different now, uh, and everything just looks different from a design perspective. You got the blue bar up there, which wasn't a big change, uh, and it's kind of annoying me. I got to get used to it, uh, but it does look nice. Uh, even the uh, app stores are actually updated. They uh, made those black. Uh, Safari's got some changes. Everything just uh, uh, looks a little bit better, uh, but it is going to take me some getting used to. Just not the big uh, redesign of the OS itself uh, like we were hoping for, but it is a nice little update. I just don't think it was big enough to go uh, to the level of iOS 6. Now before we head out of here, let's take one last look at our sponsor for this video, GoToAssist. Working in IT can be unpredictable and challenging. There are people pulling you in all directions at once and need your help right away, and things can break down at any moment. And that's why you should check out GoToAssist by Citrix, because it will help you stay on top of it all. GoToAssist is SaaS based and purpose built to give you more control of your IT world. You can use the world class remote support modules to solve your users problems quickly from anywhere. And GoToAssist monitoring gives you customizable dashboards displaying performance of all network servers and desktops. Plus proactive alerting allows you to fix small issues before they become big problems. GoToAssist is easy to use, sets up in just minutes and is from Citrix, a trusted leader in IT. If your IT world is complicated, GoToAssist will give you all the tools you need to keep control of it from anywhere. Sign up for your special 30-day free trial today. Visit gotoassist.com, click the try it free button, and enter promo code TI. Again, that's gotoassist.com, promo code TI. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this walkthrough of iOS 6. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, if you enjoyed this, make sure you click the like button down below. I really appreciate it, and it helps me out a ton. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel, so that way you don't miss any of my tech videos that I post uh, all the time. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.